welcome to my channel. Um, this week didn't go as planned. Like I told you in last week's video, we had a huge rainstorm and I will insert pictures right now. So yeah, that was pretty crazy. $200 after, you know, $200 later after rock and stuff like that, we were able to get the driveway fixed so we can get out. Ordered some parts, but those parts, three to four days shipping, turned out to be a week and a half. So the week you're watching this video, which would be last week for you in real time, but it'll be that week we'll be getting uh, the starter, um, gaskets, stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please subscribe and like and enjoy the rest of the content. I got the coil for the distributor. This should have everything inside that I need. So I'm going to start um, installing this. So essentially what we have in the box is the coil itself, a bag with the rubber washer, and then the four bolts to bolt into it. And I also have everything for the distributor to make that work. I'm pretty sure these two are the same thing. The, see this washer, there's this rubber grommet, and then that one. Fan switch. Um, I'm not going to be running this. Like I said, this is only going to be temporary until we start the car. I'm running um, lighted, um, like push, kind of push button. You'll see when I get them. So what I'm going to do on this is, I should have bought some new ones, but these ones are some cheap connectors. Way too small if we can figure out how to open these things up. These things are tiny, but like I said, it's obviously temporary. So we are going to take the other end of this. Twist it up. So this is going to be, like I said, this is the power for the HEI, all of this. Now this is going to be for the tech, but we're not going to be using the tech as of right now because, well, we still got to finish the car. So, that is that. We get that hooked up. So then tomorrow, in the daylight, after I get out of school... We're going to be figuring out what kind of end we're going to need for this. Obviously, these little things are not going to work. And we're going to have this all completely installed. The engine's already timed and everything. The rotor's in the spot where it needs to be. So all we got to do is cycle the engine back to, well, pretty sure it sits like this. So cylinder 1 would be right here. Cylinder 8. Then you go the normal V8. Um, sequel for the spark and that's it
Alright, so it is dark out. I have the engine at top dead center. I have everything where I need it to be. So, uh, this is number one, number eight. Um, so right now, what I'm doing is, I'm taking this, I'm gonna put a little connector on it so we can tie it in right here. It just has the paint over it. Here we go. Put that right in there. This side. Just on just like that. Just pound it out just a little bit. I got a hammer over here, but I don't. Oh, fuck it. There we go. Put that up there. Not, it's not gonna work either. God damn it. Okay. Just pull that wire out a bit. So now we're gonna bend this a little bit. We're gonna get that nut out now. I should honestly just wait till tomorrow, which I might just have to do because this is not going in my favor whatsoever. But I'm a little impatient. Can't wait for this thing to start. I know some of you can't either. All right. So there we go. Not really sure what this is to for right now, but at least we can wire this in. Let's put this in first. And put this one in. And then we can go ahead and thread this on so we can get it. This got to be in a bitch. So I can't pull this wire out anymore. Now it's the 
put this one back in. I'm sure I don't need that wire since the only ones I'm using as of right now are the main battery. You know what? I don't need that. Go ahead and put that on. Now I'm not going to tighten it because I also have to put the fuel line on here or the uh, fuel pump hot on here. Um, I guess I could Let's try that. I don't know how much of this I'm going to keep in the video, but these two should be the same size. Yep, so to make things a little easier, I'm going to run it right here. That way when we run the fuel line power through the firewall. It doesn't have to sit in there all cockeyed and whatnot, so.